you see the pair that got pulled into tires? Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. There's talk of these skies driving men mad. Most of them skies on edge. Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? Ours is just fine. As long as you look past the fact storms out mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the free cities, helping Mid with her project. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just a messenger. I'll leave the scheme until those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. Look, tempting the you will. I don't. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen mother crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether, but not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. And yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Ulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand to be washed away at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Mm. None but us.
Sturm kann uns sehen. Oder die Thunder. Let me guess. You're here about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And all that I... You think well, there isn't? Had I... Th you will certainly evil... Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cashier at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dallam Hill. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. In fact, and even if we chill enough. Let them know. Say we were in for a storm. This man's gonna die if we don't get him to a healer. Martha, it's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said you've been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the... Only a handful made it up here. But that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Do you think there were as many as Martha says? <laughs> More. You don't think they've abandoned us, do you? Them not. Clive, wounded. We deal with the Akashic first. Good. 
These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to... You are mistaken. Wait, how do you... Forget... Wait, where is he? Did it? Take your mark. And to think you two... When did... Not they were... The scouting party's almost at the lift. But they got a pack and... Damn it. We'll worry. You look... I will. This is going to take... My friend's dying! Come on. My brother. Shh. Don't drink hard. Mad dogs. Squire, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha, and by the... We thought... But we did... Behind you! We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from... <laughs> I see you're all... Martha! Is something... Look out. I say... feel like finish. Always. Just, you'll need... Don't you? The moment...
headed for the rest. We have to slow them down. Martha and the others won't be ready. Something's coming. Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, so wait. Shall we? Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be like... Then we make... What did you find out there? The well, open oh, camp. It, it's not the body. What? My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar Murdoch. Oh. Well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, so wait. If it please you, my lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I'm a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title. You have a... And I... No, no, it's... There is a... But a squire... Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed. I would...
I would Oh my finest pieces all that work gone Mummy I'm scared Oh I'm ruined Should I be worried? Huh. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All You're in any but, but <laughs> ah, as if. Let's just say I love you. Right? Perhaps we'll make what makes. Huh? Suppose we just follow the shouting. Talk like that if it had been we hire him and what we're back and but what that's an any come. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid. I thought it was a cost the bra I was you the sleep or it was perhaps I'll Well, he'd let that's a <sighs> while it's in before presenting them, and that took when it a Vic as you hmm. oh, player. What he... picture it, God. As a big, the trip. No, you know, Grant. Well, are you that of abs? Which. I can't believe that actually worked. And there's a. Still be possible to buy something. Ah, here he is now. Uh, Under I flew in the no it, it and with the fuck. All right. But you need. Thank you. She's right now. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Good, both with time and to take all in it of life. I'm very well. The rest, my friend, is takes up. That is a lot of fun. It I will hold and. have come to welcome us. Overwhelm us. 
the townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should... Natalie, you did well. Without you say... We all... Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I... I... The plan grunt. Come, we are... As for you... I'll... So, where did you learn to swim? The bandits may be known, but look what they've left us with. We'll have a hard time putting this place back. First we find Isabel. I saw it with my own eyes. The whole of Oriflame under a flood. We're all left for more in the captain's orders. <sighs> the two soldiers were carrying another. He didn't have any legs. More arrived from the capital. My lord, my lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of. Wait, the bed take. <laughs> then we'll. Oh. Then we'll. Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by the... We're trying... One more! I would have you do your deed and protect them, I shall. In case you have forgot that more than that, your sister... So you have... She's based this here. What we have... Not if we... <sighs> I'll have a word with them. Ah, oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort. But I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Um, <clears throat> what we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak. <laughs> hmm. You're a pikeman, yes? Yeah? I'll go in a fact. Leave that. That thing. Did you see the creatures that are creep? They cut you. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. It was all they could do to escape. They just left the bodies there in the flood. That's better.
Do you think there are more? There are always more. You have the time. Don't let them. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not. No, no, no. Now, lest you wander, but it. Our friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto. Was wandering at our oh, look and he mm, the night right. now nah, nah, nah. thank you. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua. What do you know of Ultima? Very 
very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You are special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit, but they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry, inside you? With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. Joshua. Clive, it's Gav. There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. What's the short of it? Myrtle, Tyre told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Hmm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But, thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated.
All right, we travel together. Clive. If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. I'll look after him. I'd say we were in for a storm. 